What's happening with Shadows Fall? You're watching Fuse. I just was in Brooklyn watching the indie bands and watching the Grizzly Bear perform. I was like, this is it. This is what's gonna happen. This is this is the next type of music because this is an unannounced show. Twelve thousand people. This is happening. The indie rock scene right now is in a great place. I, I enjoy watching that right now more than hip hop. I know that's gonna be like one of those things like Kanye saying he don't play hip hop in his house, but it's just true. I love Muse. I think they're awesome. They're enormous outside of the United States, like beyond enormous, and like, uh, and and yet they still really haven't found their their niche in the U.S. quite in that same way. I mean, I suppose they may not necessarily quite cross over to, into that level of ridiculousness in the U.S., but it's always possible. They're really great. They're really, really cool. They're... After spending the summer touring with you 2 I think I think they'll be in a whole new level. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, that'd that would be my That uh, 50, 60,000 people a night that are seeing them play. Probably get some fans. But I gotta eat, gotta get another plate. So I'm on my cake walk for the cake. I love these streets. Jill Scott, man, uh, the, the material she do, man, it, it's new, it's fresh. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's conscious. It's definitely, uh, you know, what, 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 what I like to hear, melodic. So I'm um, big up Jill Scott. We need another one of those. Bet Midler. <laughs> I'm going to go with Abraham Farrar down from Cuba. There's no embargo on him. Well, I just got turned on to his music like a couple weeks ago and I'm just like eating.